Day three of X Games Ventura, as we welcome you now to the Women's Skateboard Park on the Sonic Park course. You know, she's just, she's got it all. She could use a little more speed, I think it'll help. But other than that, she's got a deep bag. We got Lilies at one and two here on the park course. Here now Mizuho. Big 360 over the box. This is a skater with a ton of power. Nice backside grab. Oh, a varial. Right into a crail slide. Lean to tail. She's coached by none other than Tony Magnuson. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> okay, so her trucks fully came off on that. Oh wow, and she hit the sonic sign. Wow, that was an impressive run from Mizuho. Risk ha factor 100 for Hasegawa. Okay, I can't explain to you enough how scary it is when your back truck slips off of a frontside 50-50, because you might hang up, and if you're going to fall into that gi giant island yeah. there, oh, that is not a fun fall. You're backwards, a it's a right whole there. thing. Let's take another look. So good, a lot to like from this run, Amelia. Hey. <laughs> Getting the picture perfect shot there. Yeah, I mean, doing the foot plant on the sign, that's gonna do a lot for her. I don't know that anyone else is gonna use that. A 74.66, catapulting her all the way up in the silver medal position. So here now, our defending gold medalist, Arissa True on her quest to repeat double gold as she did in 2023 starts right now. She just has those so dialed. You can see her spotting her landing and like getting speed out of it. Woo! Picking up some change on the top deck there, but getting the 50-50. Arissa is the truth. I see what you did there. Okay, this combo is so technical. It's like a trick on top of three tricks. Last 10 for Arissa. Oh, yes, yes, yes. and the backflip revert. Oh my there gosh, no way. Oh Cab frontside no slide revert. I, I'm speechless. The level of technicality in those tricks is so high. No one else in this, the, this field is doing anything close to that, Brandon. The game done changed She's... on run number two, thanks to Arissa True. Wow, she is not messing around. And she went switch. Oh my gosh. She, honestly, she had it all. She had amplitude. She had speed. She had a five. She had technical lines. She had this crook fakey right into the switch backside air, right into the G-twist. Wow. This is as technically sound a run as we've ever seen in Women's Skateboard Park, courtesy of the 14-year-old Arissa True. <laughs> Christian Hosoy loving it. 87.33 for Arissa as she jumps up into gold medal position. Wow. And it should be noted, this is a little bit of an unorthodox course build than what we've seen in previous years at X Games. Yeah, leaving that one wall open for viewing is, it makes it harder to maintain your speed, but it's great for the audience. And so it adds a challenging element for the skaters. Well, someone who doesn't have any trouble maintaining speed, Yurin Fuji. Yeah, this is a really powerful run from her so far. I really hope she gets that five, because I want to see it in slow-mo. Oh, there it is! She puts Whoa. it down! It looked like she spun late. I, I can't even comprehend how that worked. She couldn't even help herself with oh, the mid-run oh, claim. Oh, Amelia! Okay, she just did a lean to tail on the very corner of that quarter pipe. I what don't even understand. What is even happening? I, I don't know. I mean, okay, there were times where she got a little lost, but the save, the save was glorious. Love it. And any time you make your run in a contest, 
you know, you've got to be really happy with yourself. Yurin was skating on the edge that entire 45 second run, and it was her best run of the day. Yeah, she started off really fast. She has a good bag of tricks, good use of the course. Look at the way that she flips that. It almost looks alley-ooped or something. Yeah. I just can't Give even. me one more look. Oh. It, it looks like she goes straight up, and then she flips and does the rest of the rotation. Oh, it's my just, gosh. Our reaction. Oh. What is going on? That is nightmare fuel. <laughs> Holy moly. I don't look like that. Yeah, I think if she would have gotten a cleaner landing on that beautiful five, then it would have set her up better for the rest of her run. She got lost in the middle there, and that's really important in part. You got to maintain your speed. Totally. Hinano Kasaki sitting in sixth place. See, like that, she landed the five, and she's got so much speed coming out of it. After Don't having trouble with people. that on her first run, she's been bolts the last two. That is a beautifully executed saran wrap. And the body jar. You know, if that trick goes wrong and you clip your back wheels on the way in, you literally jar your body. And Amelia, it seems like she's getting more comfortable with the speed and pacing of this course as the contest goes on. Yeah, I feel like that's been a trick within itself, just maintaining your speed on this course. But here she goes, she did it, it was a full pull. She looks very happy with that. There weren't really a, any empty walls. It looked like she did a really good job piecing it all together. So it looks like Kasaki saving her best for third and final run. Take another look. She's also a winner of the 2021 Exposure Best Transition video part. That was the first time I saw her skate, and I was just really hoping that we would see more of her. So I'm stoked she got the X Games invite and really happy that she's in the finals right here. Demon S trying to improve upon that 69.66. She does just that, jumping all the way up into second place. Oh, well deserved. Absolutely. So here's Lily Stafasius, her third and final run. She won the Bird Attack event last year over in Sweden. And, you know, earning a goal and gold in that event is definitely a really big deal. So she's no stranger to the podium. She's got the beautiful finger flip lean to tail. Nice backside air. Going for a crail slide. Oh, yes, taking that lift slide through the corner. Last five seconds for Lily. Yes, yeah. the back nose one. Okay. So sitting in that bronze medal position, Amelia. She looked like she wanted to really improve on the execution of that run. So we saw some similar trick selection, but all done a little bit better, you know, maintaining that line, maintaining that speed, and just trying to clean it up. She probably thought, you know, if it ain't broke, don't mm -hmm. fix it. Well, if you look at that distance, it's 78.66 is right in front of her with Kusaki, right? She's trying to best that 76.33. Is having a great showing out here this morning. So a 77.33, that's what I thought. A point better, so certainly her best of the day, but doesn't so pass up the side. Test Amelia, and now she's sitting in fifth. I wonder if she could knock on the door of the podium and at least get in the third if she can maintain that speed. Yeah, she's the last combo. one that can shake up the podium, it should be noted. So if she could squeeze in that kickflip Indy with this half cap blunt fakie. Yes, awesome. I'm glad she didn't change that run. Nice, right into the L twist. I love that combo. Oh, here we go. She did a backside air. That's better than her last yes. run. She did a kick turn there. That's stale fish. So styly. Oh, that's what dreams are made of. <laughs>
Okay, getting the hand trick. She on one. Backside air. All right, she's got a couple seconds left. I know she wants that kickflip, Bindi. Fulfill the dream, the Lily. Time? Oh! I count it, I count it, I count, I count it. Too. I count okay, it. I count it too. We don't make the rules, but we can say whatever we want. Um, We're on TV. We can say whatever we want. <laughs> that's a really good point. I'm counting it. Okay, that still was better than her last run. You know, there's a lot to be said too for after black hammers. <laughs> yeah, that's, look. Jason Rothmeyer and the crew it. is thinking it. about this right now. Oh, it was so well done. Jason, come on, you gotta okay, count Okay, okay, no, let's, let's get down to brass tacks. If that's counted, as we think it should be, where does that put Lily Erickson? Oh, gosh, Ooh, I say at least third, in my opinion, like a, like a 78.2. Well, the score just oh. came in, and it's not uh. that, 73.33. My guess is they probably didn't count that. You know, this is why I'm not a judge. It's too hard. It's okay. Too hard. So our last three skaters to drop in, potentially here, Kokono Haraki, sitting in eighth, just looking to put down a run. But if she puts one down that she's capable of, Amelia, it could be a medal. It could be a medal. But can she do it? The kick will bend it. Yes! She's got it this time. Nice lean to tail. See if she can keep her speed up. Oh, gap, front nose grind, two lip slide. That is super technical. It's like three tricks in one. Nice, front side Smith grind through the corner. Making that wheel streak on that front tail. Back disaster. Backside Ollie. Oh, just kind of ran out of time, unfortunately, on the sub box. That's going to affect her because, you know, when your last trick is technically just the backside 50-50, yeah. that's really not the kind of stamp that you want to leave your run with. What have you done for me lately? The judges want to see what you do right out the gate and how you close it out. Certainly her best run of the day. Definitely her best run of the day. I mean, the kickflip Mindy's definitely going to make a big difference. This I mean, gap front nose grind to lip, yes. Love it, love it, so technical. So here's Ruby True, third and final run for her, sitting in eighth place. If Ruby puts it together, it could definitely knock on the door of the podium. Her style goes such a long way. So many blocks barking on that back 50. Something about surfers. They've always got such a great style when they skate. It's oh. not fair. It's not oh fair, gosh. Amelia. I just want to see her do that over and over and over again. The front rock slide through the corner. Oh, nice. 50-50 on the sub box. Oh, and that's sad plant. Oh, my gosh. That is the way that you want to do it. And that... Oh, my gosh. Back nose grind. One more. Best run so far. One more. I know she wants a McTwist. Can she do it? Okay, front side invert. <laughs> front side invert is a very sick trick. That was a really great line. What a run for the 15-year-old X Games rookie, Ruby True. She is happy with that one. It's interesting to me that she took the McTwist out of her line that she did in uh, qualifiers, but this is, it's way more technical, you know? She's focusing on lip tricks. She knows that this is a park contest and lip tricks are way more important. Oh my God, that back Smith though, it's so great. Oh, yes. Poetry, poetry. To be this talented, this young, on the world's biggest stage. A star in the making, Ruby True. Welcome to the X Games, a 78. And she gets up to the bronze medal on her final run. Yep, that makes sense, that makes sense. Oh my, oh. what a moment for Ruby True. Wow, to go from your first time at X Games to the podium, so impressive. And that certainly wasn't the case. Just everything was so textbook. Getting that 540 right out the gate. You wanted tech. You wanted NAR. 
you wanted things that you just don't see on the park course from the ladies in this discipline, Arissa True delivered when it mattered most. And she left no doubt about it from run two on, took the lead and never looked back. And Amelia Brodka, who I thought was just sitting next to me, is somehow handing her a gold medal. Let's head over to Mitch, who's with Arissa. Arissa, you've done it again. Amazing second run, and you basically closed the show with that second run. Thank you. Trevor said you had a third run that was going to do something else, but it didn't matter. Talk to me about that f second run and how it went down. My second run started pretty good, and then I did my five, and I got to the ledge, and it went a bit sketchy, but I still ended up landing it, and then I finished my run, and I was really happy. Okay, last X Games, you walked away with two gold medals. You're halfway there, but in this moment now, this is all that matters. And why is X Games, with all the events we have going on, why is this so important to you? Because X Games is really fun, and I think it's like the funnest event. Arissa, thank you for always creating, at 14, 15 years of age, skateboarding moments and skateboarding history. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone, make some noise for Arissa True. Fun, fun, fun. That's what we do here at X Games. Take fun seriously. And Arissa True doing it the right way. No better way to start off day three of X Games. But coming up next, our Willie. The Kevin Peraza battling the best at the Dave Mira BMX Park Best Trick. All that after this message and a word from our ABC stations.